In this exercise, we will learn how to automate staging publication. At the end of this exercise, we will have learned how to create a seasonal site page variation as well as automating stage publication. Now for this exercise, we will take the following steps. We'll add in a new seasonal site page variation. We'll add the hotel banner structure as well as template. We'll create a new seasonal banner for the news and specials page. We'll replace the banner with this new seasonal banner and then we'll set up a publishing schedule for this change. At the end of this exercise, there will be some bonus exercises that I won't go through, but that you can do for yourself. This includes making more changes to the holiday season variant. You can improve the holiday banner and put it on the homepage. You can add additional special offers for the holiday season using special offers web content structures. You can also set up staging on a new site. Maybe create a new site pages variation, add content to your pages, and merge the new site pages variation with the main variation for your site. But with that, let's get into the exercise. So we'll start on the news and specials page under staging again as we left off from the last exercise. We'll add a new seasonal site page variation. So from the options in the right of the publishing section, we'll click site pages variation. And then here we'll add a site pages variation from the button at the bottom. We'll type in holiday season variation as the name. And then under the copy pages from site pages variation drop down, we'll click main variation. We'll click add. And after this is added, we'll close the drop down. Now we'll add the holiday banner structure. We'll open up the menu from the left. We'll go to content and data, and then we'll navigate to web content in the site administration. Now we'll find at the top, the structures tab. We'll click the add button from here. To change this name, we'll change it to hotel banner. And then we'll find the source tab. We'll actually import a JSON from the course module exercises, and you can find this in hotelbannerstructure.json. So let me copy that right now. Place it here. Click the View tab to see the fields. So it should look something like this. And then we'll click the Save button at the top right. Now we'll add in the hotel banner template. So we'll find the templates tab at the top. Now we'll add in the hotel banner template. So from here, we'll click the templates at the very top of the page. And then we'll click the add button at the right. For the name, we'll type in hotel banner template. And then at the right side under basic information, we'll choose a structure by clicking the select button. We'll click the hotel banner structure. Now scroll down under the editor, we'll see a script file with a choose file button. We'll click this and then we'll upload the hotel banner template FTL found in the course modules folder. We'll click the save button at the top right. Now we'll create a new seasonal banner for the news and specials page. So click the web content tab, and then we'll click the add button, and we'll choose a hotel banner. For the title, we'll type in Livingston Holiday Banner. And under the hotel name, we'll type in Livingstone Hotels and Resorts. Under the lead text, we'll type in Spend the Holidays in Paradise. And for the BG image field, we'll click Select. And then we'll select a file 
we'll upload the Livingstone seasonal banner from our exercises folder. We'll click add. And then we'll click the publish button after we're done. Now we'll replace the banner with the new seasonal banner. So we'll go to the site administration. We'll go home and then we'll click the news and specials. Now at the top right, we'll click add. We'll open the content tab. And then we'll drag in the Livingstone holiday banner to the top of the page. So you can see the blue bar when we drag it onto the page. And so we should see this banner now. Now we can click the options at the top of the new web content display widget. We'll choose the look and feel configuration again. And for application decorators, we'll choose barebone. We'll click save. And then we'll close this pop-up. Now, we will set up a publishing schedule for this change. We'll click the Ready for Publication slider at the top of the page. And then we'll click Publish to Live. And then we'll use Advanced Publication this time by clicking it in the top right. For the name, we'll call this Holiday Site. And under the Date section, we'll choose Schedule. For the start date, We'll call this November 1st, and we'll set this to midnight. We'll also choose the end date by clicking End By, and we'll choose this for January 1st of the next year. We'll also set this to midnight. We'll repeat this yearly, so we'll open the drop down and select Yearly, and then we'll Choose day of month and type in Jack November 1st, so one for the day, and then November for the month drop down, and we'll have this repeat for 10 years. With this, we can add the event by clicking the bottom right, and it will publish at the appropriate time. Now we can close the pop up.